You're over here doing promo for your forthcoming album, yeah. which is yeah. which is called yeah. The Betrayed. The Betrayed. Yeah. Or the B Trade. The B Trade. Of selling wasps. What about the A Trade? Mm. The, um... <laughs> Not selling bees. No. Why? Why? Because uh, it went underground. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I thought it was going to be two guys, like with, yeah, with a bunch of like bees in a little Tupperware box, like one hand and over money. Well, well, you've got the competition going at the moment to get your to get your fans to create their own. So maybe that that's your entry. Yeah, that will be my entry. <laughs> and it's the one that will win. <laughs> um, so t tell me about the album. It's it's been it's been a while since Liberation Transmission. Yeah. I mean, it would be three and a half years in between by the time the play comes out. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of little munchkins in the room. Sorry. Get out of here. <laughs> Leprechauns in your pocket. Why um, has it taken so long? Well, we did an album and scrapped it. Mm. Um, we did one with the album and stuff. And then it just wasn't up to scratch, I guess. You know, it was like that feeling like every, every album we put out is, it has to be to us better than the last one or at least stepping up a level or, you know, mm -hmm. in some way different. And we just never used to listen to it. Why that? And it was always kind of wrong, you know. Um, and there's a lot of like bullshit and box going on with like rec companies and labor people set, second guessing everything right. to the point where we had to just be like, fuck everyone and we'll do it ourselves. Yeah. And how happy are you with this album? I mean, obviously the expected response would be this is our best album. Yeah, yeah that is. <laughs> if it wasn't, we'd scrap it <laughs> and, do, and do another one. Um, what are the themes running through the album? Betrayal. What? Betrayal. Yeah. Deception. How many songs on the album? Uh, eleven. And is it eleven songs of the trail? Um, it's not kind of all just about the trail. It's more just about a darker, um, a more not pessimistic, but a more cynical view of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like I'm, I'm just saying, like in, in the, we've been doing this, it's, it's like the Sith to the Jedi. You know, mm -hmm. we've done we've done the Qui Gon Jinn training. The wasp, we spent, to, the we wasp spent our, to the bee. Yeah, we spent our time with a. With Obi Wan, mm -hmm. found some lava, yeah. and Padme died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Now we've got a breathing yeah. apparatus. Yeah. I want to. And crush people's throats with our mind. If I put a good effect on on that for the video, this will be huge on YouTube. I swear it. Yeah. Well, so. just go like this, <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> um. What video? You've got a you've got a new band member. Yep. Yeah. Luke from, um, from Star Wars or Beat Union? Star Wars. And uh, <laughs> Yeah. We tried Luke from Star Wars. He was too busy doing voiceovers for Wing Commander. Did he did he play on the album or did Elan? Mark Hamill. <laughs> Mark Hamill is. He came in with his lightsaber. <laughs> but he's only got one knot. Mm. <laughs> mm. Didn't cut it, did it? Yeah. Well, it did cut it. Yeah. It cut, cut it really well. A bit too well. Um, no, yeah, it was uh, Ilan played on the record. Um, I mean, how's it been? I mean, you've been a band for what, 12? 12 years? Yeah, I guess it's weird. I mean, like officially probably like almost 10. Yeah. I mean, you know, like the early stuff was just kind of us messing around with demos or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we've been in bands together since, you know, since we were like 13, 14. Right. You know, so it's kind of. But, but like in the past, past few years, you've had. You've had um, new band members. I mean, how, how's that? How's it been for you? Like um, integrating a new. With, with the lines, kind of weird, just because he was, he was an incredible drummer, but he was from such a different background. Mm -hmm. You know, like we were all kind of, we were all still out, like working class guy. You know, in a, grew up in a mining town, and you know, he's kind of from a, a, a well-off gated community and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, there's nothing wrong, but it, but it was the kind of like the, the and he was very young. Yeah. Obviously, so he still had you know, a lot of life experience to, to go on and, mm -hmm. you know, and he was cool on it. Like I say, he's an incredible drummer, probably one of the best in the world. Yeah. Know? But, um, yeah, had his opinions, which he was very, both, but, you know, <laughs> steadfast with and we had ours, so. Yeah, I mean, I saw him on stage with uh, Night and Schnells a few months ago. Yeah. Cracking drummer, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's, yeah. He's uh, gone on to different things, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, but that's, I think that's, you know, what he, always, he just wants to do his own thing. Mm. I mean, you know what I mean? 
He's, he released a solo album last year as well. Yeah, yeah. He, he's more kind of like that in, in his mindset than a team player. Yeah. Going back to you guys being in a band for basically the entirety of this century yeah. as as a you know established band. Decade. Um, yes, this this decade, it's this century, you know, the whole of the twenty first century. Yeah. <laughs> Not a glorified. A century's a hundred years, isn't it? <laughs> um, I mean, we're wicked if we go for hundred years. <laughs> um, it's your fourth album. Yeah. How how have your aspirations? Yeah, how, how have your aspirations changed from, from the release of Fake Sound of Progress to the truck? Um, I don't think they have really. You know, it's just. It's, it's never really like a set goal or set plan. Answer the phone! Um, yeah, we just, I don't know, we just always wanted to write the best songs we could and go out and play. Mm-hmm. And, and we don't kind of think any further than that. We've never really had a plan B, or you know, so this has been, this always is what we do, and this is the linchpin, which any like extracurricular stuff or stuff, so, you know what I mean? It's fine or whatever, but it's always this is who we are. Okay. This is what we've always been. You know? Yeah. I mean, you're one of the you're one of the few few British bands of the past ten years who've actually um, had success. In both the UK and in America, um, does that add a bit, of, a bit of pressure that you've got to keep the standards nah, up? Okay. Uh, really? America is just kind of lost at the moment, I think, musically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. It seems to be like everything that's underground in America has all has been used and come to the mainstream, apart from dance music, uh-huh. which is why you get bands like you know, kind of 303 or, or, or like Broken Side. Yeah, and all that kind of like because that's the only thing they haven't really, ex- you know, overexposed yet. Sure. Like everything else has been done, like rock and like the new metal thing and country, obviously, you know, and, and all the hip hop stuff. But then all the hip hop artists stop singing about the streets and mm. start singing about the club. Yeah. And then it was like, well, all right, we're in the club, let's have some dance music. So they kind of like fucked themselves, you know. And now all the hip hop releases sound like dance tracks, you know, like. Me like Jay Z stuff and all. It's just it sounds like you know, things like that. It's like Flow Rider and all that. It's like it's not really hip hop anymore. So what do you think is the future for rock in in the U S and beyond? The U S. Nothing. No, nah, U S is dead. <laughs> Sinking ship. You, but, you know, which is I'm glad why we're from the U K because the U K is still it's still vibrant. It's still people still love it. It's still people still care about music. You know, whereas I think. America is so like disparate and, and so massive. Is yeah, just after being over there, it's just there's no, there's nothing going on. There's no scene at all. You know, it, like all oh, like any big rock shows are just not selling. You know, the only thing there is is are all the big raves and the big dance parties. You know, okay. which is like I said because it's the only thing that's still left underground okay. in America. The only thing that's there's left to care about, I suppose. Yeah, the, yeah, the only thing that's kind of new and ooh, we haven't you know milked the fuck out of this, yeah. Sure enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What's your favourite song on the album? You wouldn't know it. <laughs> yeah, no reference point for it. That's so tell me about it. No, I'm really surprised. <laughs> hey, I'm here for our profits, so you're watching Flash X. <laughs> 